Hi everyone, Just for Sweets here. Uh, today we are going to um, do some make ahead garlic. Uh, I buy garlic at Costco in this huge bag and I never go through even this much of it before it's moldy and bad and I have to throw it away. And again, that's waste and I'm trying to pinch some pennies so I'm going to show you how to prevent that from happening. Now you can either go there and split it with someone and that helps, but you still probably don't go through that much garlic unless you own a restaurant or something. So um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to preserve mine because I just threw my last bag away a couple weeks ago and I bought a new one and I swore to myself I'm not going to let that happen again. It's just a complete waste. So. To do it this way, you'll have it all pre-made, and when you make your, you know, cook your dishes and stuff, all you have to do is take your jar out. You've seen jarred garlics in the grocery store. You're just gonna make your own. I think this bag of garlic cost me maybe four dollars. I think it's four dollars, right around there. And so I'm just gonna take one of my mason jars and my little mini food processor, and don't mind it. It's been through the ringer. I have used it for years and years. This little processor cost me like nine dollars at Christmas time one year and I've used it to death so <clears throat> all you need is your fresh garlic now you can use bulbs and and do it that way but I'm just trying to preserve what I have I have some um, grapeseed oil here and you can use olive oil if you'd like to or you can even use like a canola oil uh, but I'm gonna use grapeseed oil today and um, go ahead and just put your garlic in here it's very simple I fill it up, I don't know, about halfway. And then we are just gonna it up. And I do it to a pretty fine chop. I'll show it to you here. You can see um it's not too fine, but it's not super big and chunky. It's not a paste by any means. So what you're going to do at this point is we're going to take that blade out very carefully and get that garlic off of there. You can see how much garlic this makes. It is so much. And I think those jars of garlic in the store, they're probably roughly right around $5 for a jar. And it's a much smaller jar than this one. And uh, I think it's half the size of this one and you can probably I would say with all that garlic in there get two of these full-size jars so right there you are saving money especially if you like to cook with garlic like I do and it's gonna preserve it a lot longer having it in the oil and in the canning jar so basically you're gonna gently just put it in there as I get it everywhere and that's okay you know the best thing to do would probably be to put a paper plate or something underneath it and then that way as it falls the plate catches it and I will do that after I do this batch and then that way you don't lose any because you can take it right off the plate and stick it right into the jar as I just lost a big scoop bowl <laughs> alright so you continue this process I'm going to kind of go ahead and push that in there and you can see just that one handful of garlic, how much it made into that jar. And I still have this huge bag. So you, you're going to get a couple jars at least out of this. And then what you want to do is you want to keep grinding. And I'm going to add a little bit of oil in between each one, probably right around a tablespoon. I don't want it too super oily, but just enough that it helps preserve it a little bit. So you're going to continue with this process until you finish the jar. And uh, you will stick that in your fridge and keep it refrigerated. Uh, and uh, have that in there for every time that you cook. So um, I'll come back and show you when the jar's full. All right, so we're back. We got the jar all full, and you can see that I used approximately a half a bag of my garlic. So you can definitely make two full jars. And these uh, jars are. Walk away for a second. These are the quart size jars. I'm so bad at remembering things. I'm so sorry. <laughs> These are the quart size jars. I wanted to make sure I didn't want to give you the wrong information. So you could probably make with one bag of garlic at least fill two quart size jars. 
and um, I filled it up and finally got smart and used my little funnel here. Didn't even think about that when I was doing the first step. So if you have your canning funnel, use that. Make sure you wash it out right away because the garlic will stick to it and then you don't want to make it taste like garlic. So at the very end here, what we're going to do is I just took a butter knife and I kind of stuck a hole right down the center. And I did the same steps where I put in my garlic and then my tablespoon of grapeseed oil, olive oil, or canola oil. And keep, re uh, keep doing that process. Now at the very end, I want to put a little funnel in there of oil because I want it to go a little bit further down. So I'm going to put another tablespoon or so down the center and then just kind of stir it in there a little bit. Because like I said, I don't want this too greasy but I want it to be able to preser preserve and, sorry if my elbow got in there, preserve and not um, mold up on us so fast. And they tend to last a lot longer in the jars. And then I did put it on a paper towel, so if you want to pick up the excess, you can pick up the excess and stick it in there, or you can just pick it up and throw it away. All right, so you put a lid on it. And I'm going to go ahead and make my second jar. Now, if you want to just jar half of it and leave half that you can do with each meal, you can do that as well. But I will let you know that once this is opened, it starts going bad within a week or two. So um, it's probably best to just use it the first time and then go ahead and pre-grind it and put it in your canning jars. So I wanted to share that little tidbit with you. It is something I have never done but have been striving to make myself do because all I do is throw away my fresh garlic and have to keep buying it and it's just a complete waste so you can get a lot of garlic for four dollars uh, and there it is this is how you preserve your fresh garlic all you need is fresh garlic and some oil and a canning jar and you are good to go oh and a food processor to chop it unless you want to hand chop it so anyway i hope you give me a thumbs up on this and uh, share this on your Facebook page as well as joining my Facebook pages uh, Just for Sweets and my group page Recipe Book. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, next video, save your pennies, everyone. God bless.